Hello to all my bearded dog owners, cat owners, even the pig owners out there. My name is Dan C. Bearded. They call me the trusted teacher. And today I'll be joined by my beautiful wife, Sam C., in a little bit. And we will be reviewing the company Bearded Pup. So if you'd like to learn more about this company and what they have to offer, please stay tuned. Company. A little bit about the Bearded Pup Company. They actually started in 2015 and they are out of southeastern Ohio. I usually don't like to bring up that state to the south of us, but out of respect for this awesome company, I will say that state. I just gotta kind of get a little water break here first. Ah. <laughs> in all seriousness, this is a company that's been around for a few years. I know they are in a lot of different barber shops around the area, and they're doing some pretty cool big things with a lot of scents that they offer. Uh, but I don't have too much more than that on this company. So that is the Bearded Pup Company. Price. I rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating, and the Bearded Pup is going to get a solid two dollar sign price rating. For a one ounce bottle of beard oil, it's gonna cost you $18. And for a two ounce bottle of beard balm, it's gonna cost you $16 on their website right now. So that is right at the market average, maybe a sliver above that, but certainly not a three, certainly not a one, a solid, solid two dollar sign price rating for the Bearded Pup. All right, gentlemen, I have brought in my beautiful wife, Sam C. Hi. And Sam, today we'll be reviewing the Bearded Pup. Okay. And we have a lot of scents. Yeah, there are tons. <laughs> so we're going to go with the paper method again to get this going. And I will have you smell it first, mm -hmm. and then I'll explain okay. what it is from there. Deal. All right. And I'll tell you the name, so some of them will be obvious. Okay. All right. First one is Suit and Tie. Suit and Tie. See what you think here. Mmm. It's like a soapy cologne. Mm-hmm. 100%. A hundred percent a soapy, clean cologne. Yeah. And that is my preference in colognes. Really? I like soapy. I like clean. Okay. I wore this and I was telling you how I liked it and you were surprised because it was the cologne scent. Yeah, definitely. Mmm. I really like it. Soapy is my... Second favorite type of cologne. Okay, what would be the first? Old man. Old man, yeah, she does like fancy old man. So all you elderly men out there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one. And yes, I love that suit and tie. I wore it like twice in a week and that's pretty rare for me. Yeah. Alright, next one we have is Twisted Mint. I also wore this twice in that same week. Is it like a woodsy mint? Nope. Just mint? Just straight up peppermint. Okay. They put that, like a peppermint mint, like the little thing you get at like restaurant checkouts. Okay. You get that? Yeah, no, yeah. I get the mint, but I thought maybe there was like something else. I was like, is it woodsy or? No, I think it's just the peppermint. It, it really does smell exactly like one of those mint swirls. so good. They are, especially like after a restaurant. Yeah. It's one of those things where if you buy them for your house, it's like, oh, they're them. so gross. But you have them at a restaurant, they're amazing. Like mm -hmm. Andy's mints. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Louise. Frozen Andy's mints. Yes. If you get those at a restaurant, they're so good. It's like fruit. <laughs> I can't eat fruit at our house. Yeah. But I'll smash fruit elsewhere, everywhere. So that one's good. Very true. All right, next one is, and I do have some set descriptions written down on the non-obvious ones. Okay. And this is one of those. So this one is Biker Blend. Biker's Blend. Biker's Blend. Yes, Biker's. And we are not bikers ourselves. No. Nope. We do not own a motorcycle. I've never even been we on one. We don't even own bicycles. No, no. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Biker's Blend. Yeah, I like that. You like that one? Mm-hmm. All right, one more. Any idea what you think it is or what's in it? 
Cologne. It's definitely a cologne-like scent. Cologne is just its own, I feel like you don't even know what's in cologne. Yeah, and I think that's the idea of cologne. Yeah. And this is cedar and leather. Cedar and leather. See if you can pull either of those out. No. I don't either. I just get <laughs> cologne. Yeah, cologne doesn't register with me as like different scents. I mean, I guess soapy. Right. There's but... different like categories. But she's saying within a singular cologne, right. she can't pull out individual scents out of it. Yeah, I don't even know what makes up cologne. I yeah. feel like I literally feel like cologne is just its own essential oil. Right. <laughs> yeah. I feel like cologne is a combination of different, we've talked about this before, yeah. the combination of different scents where they have now become one indistinguishable scent. It's oh, its own yeah, thing. Yeah, hundred percent. And then what do you think about their uh well we move on, we have some smaller sample mm -hmm. sizes here. What do you think about their balm containers? I like it. Yeah. Feel how light this is. Oh wow. Super yeah, light. super light. Yeah. Nice Nice balm in there. About the same strength. Yes. Same strength. Or maybe maybe a stronger. little bit more. Yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit more on the balm. Definitely there. Okay. So those are the three one ounces that I have. Okay. Now I have some samples and half ounces. Cool. All right. Next one is campfire. Campfire. Tell me, we had a couple campfires this year. Maybe one. Maybe one. One. Yeah. Maddox loved we it. We always say like, oh, we can't wait to have campfires, and it's like. 8 o'clock and we're like, I yeah. just want to go to bed. And it's hard with the boys in their bedtime and everything. Yeah. Alright, campfire. Oh my gosh. That is Straight the, up campfire. The best kind of campfire smell. That's really good. Now. It's like sweet, like cherry wood campfire. Or it's so like good. That. But, that's an amazing scent. Yes. Would you want that in my beard? No. No. But. We are looking still, we have to get one, Black Friday deals, a diffuser. Yeah. Would you put that in a diffuser? I don't think so because I don't necessarily want like the house or our things smelling okay. like campfire. Okay. So she loves the scent but doesn't want it in my beard, doesn't want it in our house. It is there, smells so good. Is I don't there know any, any application no, for it? No. I really don't. Other than just smelling it? Just Interesting. Putting it on before you go outside, pretending like you're sitting around a campfire. I guess so. It does smell exactly like a nice campfire. It does. One. Like straight so up. Good. I think the most realistic campfire yeah. one yes. I've smelled. And we've smelled a lot of those. So awesome. That was a good one. That is, yeah. It's straight up campfire. <laughs> and not too smoky. I mean, you get the no. smoke, but it's just nice. All right, next one is Grow. Beard Grow. G-R-O. Okay. So the essential oils are supposed to promote Beard growth, not trying to sell it as like a growth serum, but it promotes blood flow, it promotes healthy follicles, all that type of stuff. Hmm. Is there a tea tree in there? Not that they list, but I would almost it guarantee there like is. It. Yeah. What they say is lavender and rosemary. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I definitely get lavender. Yeah. Okay, well, I get rosemary. So okay, yeah. <laughs> and I think That's this, why we're such a great team. Yeah, and I think this is a nice nighttime oil. I okay. can see me going to bed with this one. And that's nice. I'm not a big fan. No, not a big fan then. Oh, I did just get the lavender. Okay. So definitely it's lavender. Okay, All I don't right. know, there's something about maybe the rosemary that just hits my nose wrong. Yeah, it's not a super manly scent, I'll say that. Not a super manly scent. All right, this one is... Murica. Spelled like that? Spelled like Murica. No A. Murica. And this one's scent description is very interesting, so we'll see what you think. Okay. Okay. She's puzzled. It's soapy. You get that? I get a little soap, yeah. So what they describe it is a barn colliding with a cologne factory. Like a barn full of straw, hay bales, colliding with a cologne factory. Okay, at least not <laughs> I get another soapy cologne. I get cologne. But just a little bit different than the first one. Super light cologne. But yeah, similar to suit and tie, but just a little bit yeah. different. I'm not sure how different. Yeah. I don't like know what makes it different, but. It's, I feel like it's um, less potent. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, I don't know about America. I don't, I don't get I don't any. I don't smell any like barn. I guess when I think of like smelling like a barn, I think <laughs> straw. Yeah, well, that's what they're trying to get at. Or like animal butts. Dirty. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I... But I don't get that. No, nothing rains America about that to me, but it's, it's pleasant. It's not bad. All right. Next one is the wingman. Wingman. Going out Saturday night, need a wingman. Here you go. What it's, you got? It's a lighter cologne. Yep. Not heavy, not um, super strong. It's exactly what a wingman would smell like. <laughs> nice. They say it is cherry tobacco, vanilla, and a little bit of apple pie. Hmm. I get the cherry tobacco. Okay, yeah. Cherry tobacco cologne. Yeah. I don't quite get vanilla or apple pie, though. Yeah. But definitely, it does sound, smell like what a wingman would it smell does. like. like your buddy you pick up and you get in the car and it's like, dude, you put on a little too much cologne. He's like, I'm your wingman tonight, man. So. That's what attracts the lady. Yeah, well, it attracts the ladies to the other guy, right? Yeah. That's, that's the role because of a, he's so strong. Yeah, that's the role of the wingman is okay. he has to be abrasive. So they're like, this guy's a good happy medium. I'll go to him. All right, next one, last one, pumpkin pie. Sam loves pumpkin pie. I, do. I despise pumpkin pie. And I'm having a really hard time because for Thanksgiving, I need pumpkin pie in my life, but I don't eat dairy. And that's half of Ooh. what pumpkin pie is. So I'm on the prowl for a recipe. Yeah, pumpkin pie. Oh, so hungry for pumpkin pie. Yeah, it's like a spiced pumpkin pie, like a that, spiced that's latte. That's what pumpkin pie oh, is. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, there goes my, my knowledge <laughs> and experience for like pumpkin. No, the consistency freaks me oh, out. The smell. Just baby food. Yeah, this will go. This is the only one out of here that I did not wear. I would put this in a diffuser. Oh no, maybe on Thanksgiving I'd let you, but that's it. It smells. It. It's pumpkin pie. It smells so good. It's sweet. It's spiced nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon. No. Pumpkin. No. So I gotta. Lip. I got a half ounce that I'll be giving to a buddy, somebody for the holiday season. No, I'm keeping it. All right, I guess she's keeping it for That's the diffuser. Mine. Sorry, buddies, I apologize, so but sorry. this this did not get in get in beard, and I'll be honest there. So no. I love it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it in your beard. I know, but I can't do it. I there's no way, no way. I just can't do it. I do not like it. It makes me ah, pumpkin pie. The thought of it, the mushiness, the Yuck. Mm, Gross. So good. Gross. So good. Leave a comment down okay. below if you hate pumpkin pie. Please. Or if Back, you like it. No, no. We know people like it. Back me up. Do you hate pumpkin pie? No. No pumpkin pie. No pumpkin pie. What kind of pie do you want for Thanksgiving? Straight up apple pie. Maybe. With some ice cream on the side. Mmm. I love apple pie. You make good apple pie. Gluten free. It's so hard. Yeah, it's so good though. <laughs> All right. That's a lot of them then. It is. If you had to pick one to keep for my beard, for my beard, which one would you go with? I like that cedar leather one. The cedar leather this one. one. Which one is okay. that? Okay. So that is the biker blend. Yeah. The biker blend. But I didn't get any cedar because you know, you guys know I'm not yeah. a cedar smelling kind of gal. <laughs> All right, so I Sam's like going that, yeah. with the biker blend, and I figured she would. Sam loves leather. She loves that type of cologne-ness, yeah. and I think leather lends that well. I'm going suit and tie for myself. Also, suit what kind of dog is this? I don't know. I don't know dogs there. Oh, is it like a, um, not a Scotty, but the other one that I like. Oh, yeah. The little terrier one. Is it a terrier? think so. Okay, well. It's so cute. Same thing, let us know that we're not dog people, so. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment. So, awesome. Miniature Schnauzer. There That's we go. Is. See, they were already typing. They were yep, angry. Yep. They're like, oh, how, how dare, dare she? she? And they're getting all angry, and then they're like, oh, gosh, she got it. She got it. All right, well, glad you got that. We saved the trolls. <laughs> all right, thank you, Sam. Yep. Feel. How do these products feel in my beard? How is the health, the styling, all of the above? And they're really good. 
The first thing that really stood out to me was the labeling and packaging on the balms. It's these really, really nice containers here. And the balm is very smooth. It is one of the smoothest balms I've had. It is definitely a light hold. There is not really a medium or strong hold there. Definitely a light hold that conditions really, really well and is very, very smooth. No grit, no problems on that. And it's very light. This balm container is an extremely light feeling and weight and that kind of translates into its hold. And then the oil. The oil is really, really nice. It is a medium consistency. I would say that it's straight down the middle with, with medium consistency. And with a combo between the oil and the balm, I would say it has an average scent day or an average scent life, and it lasts about six to eight hours. So it's not one of those scents that's gonna go away right away, but it's not one of those scents that you're gonna wake up with the next morning. It would last you your average work day without having to reapply. If you want something more than that, you may have to throw some extra balm in there. Uh, one thing that did stand out to me with this is when I would put the products in my beard, no matter how little or how much I used, I would have some leftovers on my hand. One of my big things that I look for is once I put everything in my beard, is it all gone or is it in my hand there? So that may not be a big deal to you guys. It's just something that I noticed and wanted to point out to you guys because I point out with other companies and products, there was nothing left on my hand. I did have some residual oil and balm that was left over. No big deal, I had to wipe off on a towel, maybe put it under the sink for a little bit. But that was something I noticed with the feel and beard. Once it went in the beard though, it absorbed really nicely and was able to leave my beard styling very well, but also feeling healthy throughout the day. So overall, a really good feel and beard for the bearded pup. Reebok. Would I buy any of these products again or any other or new products from the Bearded Pup? Yeah, definitely. These are not all for me, most definitely on that point. I don't think that is the goal of this company though. When a company offers so many different scents, I don't think that everyone is supposed to be a home run for every one of you. But I think their goal is that they're gonna offer something that'll fit everyone. For me, I really, really like the suit and tie cologne. This is one of my favorite colognes that I have. I think it caught Sam off guard when I wore this a couple days in one week because she was like, wow, you actually are liking a cologne? And I do. I like it because it's that clean scent. I feel like I can wear it on a date night, but I could also wear it to school or coaching and not feel like I was trying to impress someone or overwhelm somebody. So I definitely would be interested in keeping this on my beard shelf for a very long time. The other ones, I know I'll pass it on to some of my buddies that it would fit them better, and that's awesome. Now, a question to leave you guys with. Sometimes I like to have questions about beards. Sometimes I just want to get to know the community a little bit better, and today is one of those questions. This is the Bearded Pup, so my question for you guys is, what type of pet owners are you? What kind of pets have you owned and raised in your life? Are you strictly dogs, just like the bearded pup? You are a German Shepherd, all manly dog. Do you like little dogs? Or are you a cat family? You guys know that Sam and I have Luna and Lumen. We love our cats, mainly because they have crazy personalities, but we also don't have to plan vacations around them. We don't have to pick up their massive poop in the yard. So we like the ease of cats and how cool and comfortable they are. But what else? Do you guys own pigs? Did you own a bearded dragon? My dad, when he was growing up and I was really young, he had a nice mustache and he had a pet tarantula. I always thought that was pretty interesting. So let me get to know you guys a little bit better. What kind of pet owners are you? What kind of pets have you had in the past? And thank you guys. I look forward to reading those comments and getting to know you guys a little bit more. I hope you have an awesome day and thank you guys, Dancy Bearded.